In 1994, a website called The Cannibal Cafe was created by a man who called himself Pero Loco. This website contained forums that allowed users to openly share their cannibal fantasies. Even though the website was shut down in 2002, it can still be accessed to this day using the Wayback Machine. Despite the welcoming look of the website, it actually contains a lot of disturbing posts made by some even scarier people. Even weirder, this website was actually a surface level webpage, meaning it could be freely accessed by anyone. The site was shut down after a user of the site called Armin Mivers used a similar website to find and eventually eat a willing victim. Armin's advertisements can still be found on the Cannibal Cafe. He made these posts under the screen name Frankie. Hi, I am Frankie from Germany. I will eat you. Please tell me your height and weight. Also send me a pic from you, where you are from. I hope you can come quick to me. I am a hungry cannibal, your butcher, Frankie. If you are between 18 and 30 years old, and you have a normal build body, then come to me. I will butcher and eat your fine flesh. Please mail me your age, height, and weight, and if you can with a pic, Frankie. There are hundreds if not thousands more archived posts on this website, which include people offering themselves to be eaten, cannibals sharing their favourite human meat recipes, and instructions on how to cook human flesh. I've chosen some of these posts to show the truly grim nature of this website. Posted by Foot Chef. I am a discreet, generous male, and I'd like to chat with someone who would be interested in finding me a woman whose feet I could torture and maybe eat. Seeking either a woman directly or a hunter who would get them for me. Please email if interested and be discreet. Thanks much, Bob. Posted by Alan. I'm a 27 year old young healthy male slave looking to totally submit into real slavery to a really evil sadistic mistress or a really cruel couple. I am for real and would like to quietly disappear into total and permanent slavery. I am particularly eager to feature in a real snuff movie for the commercial benefit of my owner. I can quietly and quickly relocate from New York and want to make it as easy as possible for you to own torture and eventually slaughter and cook my naked slave body for your total satisfaction. I would especially like to be kept naked, chained and caged like a pig before I am slaughtered. I am very interested in being spit roasted like a pig. I await you naked and in chains on my feet like a pig awaiting slaughter. Thank you. Even though the website states it's for fantasies involving consenting adults, some things I have seen have led me to believe part of this website wasn't for fantasy and could have been used for the exchange of actual victims. There are many posts on this website which tend to repeat the phrase for real, which infers the users want to actually fulfill their fantasies rather than just roleplay. This is a post by a user called Keith. Looking for anyone that would literally like to cut my butt off for eating. I would also like to have my feet and legs cut off. I have always wanted to be eaten since I was a kid and now I'm ready. I'm 27 years old, nice looking male, very clean, dark blonde hair, green eyes, 6 foot and 200 pounds. I would like to be gutted and have a spit put into my anus going through my mouth. I am looking for serious replies only so no fantasies. I will send you a pic of me when you respond. Users may actually use the words for real to make the role playing experience feel more realistic. As disturbing as all this is, the website actually gets a lot darker. The Cannibal Cafe actually had multiple sections on the website, which include available livestock, livestock application, cattle training, and snuff previews. In the livestock application section, there is an application form that you can fill out for yourself or to nominate someone else to be supposedly sold as livestock. Please fill out our online livestock application completely and return it to the California and Midwest Human Female Stockmen's Association by email or normal post. All applicants must be accompanied by one or more recent photographs of the livestock applicant and a brief letter explaining the applicant's suitability as livestock. Please indicate if the applicant is a voluntary or an involuntary nominee. Incomplete forms cannot be processed. 
In this application, users could choose how they would be terminated. Once this application was filled out, I believe you would appear on the Available Livestock section. In the Available Livestock section, there are multiple women that appear to be up for sale for things like slavery and for the consumption of their human meat. At the top of the page, there's a message that reads, we will soon have an online order form where consumers will be able to arrange to purchase or lease C and MH FSA livestock. Remember that there is no limitation on the intended or actual use of any of our cows, but should any leased livestock be terminated during the lease period, you will be invoiced for the full purchase price. There are six separate listings on this page all with pictures and brief descriptions of the condition of their meat and the age of the women. I will have to blur most of the pictures on this page for obvious reasons. Pero Loco, the owner of the website's daughter, is actually listed on this page. Always willing to put his money where his mouth is, C and MH FSA chairman, Pero Loco, accepted his daughter Chelsea's livestock application. Chelsea Loco is currently enrolled in the Livestock Training Programme and is being trained by our expert livestock counsellors. She hopes to have a short career as a poor video actress and eventually to star in her very own snuff video. We feel certain that she will achieve the high goal she set for herself. Of course, we are prejudiced, so please write and tell us what you think. I actually found a post made by Pero Loco on the forum which backed this claim. Actually, that really is a picture of my daughter on the available livestock page, and she knows about it. Wait for the next update and you'll be able to see what happened. She's really a good kid, but yes, really is my daughter, Pero Loco. I couldn't find any other archived posts of Pero talking about his daughter, but I don't think I really want to see what Pero means when he says, what happened. Another woman on this list was a woman called Tina. Her description reads, Cal Tina required very little training when she joined the California and Midwest Human Female Stockman's Association's herd. She was found to be so completely sub and willing to be used as a dehumanized boy. After the briefest training, she was ready for absolutely any purpose that came to mind. Our LTP counselors were unable to restrain themselves and used Cal Tina in a cattle training video to illustrate the fine art of sexual ritual self snuff. We have a freezer full of her fine meat and the cow Tina's snuff video will be available soon through our online order page. One of the pictures attached is actually a packet of meat with the words human written on it. Not all the women on this page were categorised as voluntary. Some women were categorised as involuntary. Ashley's description reads, Ashley has just been donated to the C and MH FSA on an involuntary basis by her ex-boyfriend Dr Gong. Our new cow Ashley is a 21 year old girl who was nominated for being meat. Dr Gong said she had been trained in oral skills and we recommend that she be used as a breeder. She would make a great start on a new line of human cattle, lean but tall enough to get a good amount of meat back. Posts on the forums were actually made about these women by users explaining in detail what they would do to them. This is a post by the user called Bloke250 where he describes in horrific detail what he would do to Ashley's private area. I intend to keep her pubic hair as a memento of such a feast. This may seem strange but I feel that her clit will be too juicy and tasty to chop off and not eat. I always prefer my c aroused before it is cooked. I feel it adds so much more to the taste, the c having been flavoured in its own juices so to speak. I would keep her feet for soup stock. Also she appears to have a very nice rack of ribs which I would grill and eat with barbecue sauce. I would be grateful if I could be given a price for Ashley. I believe $3,500 seems fair and I will be happy to sell copies of the video I make of our time together. They also talk about using these women as breeders to create a herd, inferring to use babies for human meat. In the cattle training section, it explains how the women are trained to become perfect, in their words, livestock. C and MH FSA LTP 
livestock training program has found to be the perfect training for any human female, regardless of age, totally transforming any girl into a submissive, willing, dehumanized sex toy. Our cows are completely without limits, will submit to any perversion, pain or torture, including the ultimate submission without complaint. So how I believe this process works is you apply or nominate someone to become livestock using the livestock application form and then victims go through cattle training where they become trained slaves and then are listed on the available livestock section. The last section of the Cannibal Cafe is the snuff preview section and to be honest I didn't really want to click on this section. It includes images and artwork of torture and cannibalism. The page reads, this is one area you may wish to return to often. The California and Midwest Human Female Stockmen's Association strives to bring only the best products and entertainment to your attention. Below you will find some previews of what you may expect from us. The C&MH FSA has been training selected cows to start in our snuff videos and live snuff shows. The live shows are scheduled to open soon. See our online order form for more information about high quality snuff videos. The mention of live snuff shows makes it really hard to believe this was just a fantasy website. Reading through this website has made me wonder how many people there are with cannibal fantasies that we potentially walk past every day or even live with. It is possible that this entire website is just extreme roleplay, but it's all very convincing. I strongly believe that giving people that have life-threatening fetishes a platform to share their fantasies will only create a community where their actions are normalised and almost encouraged. There is big controversy surrounding the consent of people in situations like this. I personally don't believe you can be fully mentally sane to be able to consent to being killed or eaten by someone. I would be interested to hear your opinion on this. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.